I'll get all my dogs out here for the because I'm sure a lot of you guys are new and haven't seen met all my dogs. So real quick, come here, Robo. I'm gonna pick you up, girl. Oh god. So this is my big baby. Say hi, whoa, whoa. Do you guys remember I showed you guys her when she was a little puppy? She's our biggest dog now. So that's Aurora. Say hi, whoa, whoa. She's like, mommy, I hate this. <gasps> oh. Oh. Wow, that was a fail. Come here, mama. Alice is a little more show girl. She wants to be in the oh, video, don't you? But this is Alice. Do you guys remember Alice? She was the one who was always in my videos before when I used to film in front of. Yes, you love being in the videos, huh? You're mommy's little star. Before I had lighting and everything like that, when I filmed from natural lighting, she used to love to come in all my videos. And our third one is a little sketchy. Let me go get her. She just she just gets scared easily, even more so than Roro, I feel like. Lily was too scared, so I'll insert a picture of her there. I don't want to force her to be on camera. She doesn't want to be, but yeah. Anyways, there's my dog, so let's get into the makeup. Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. Or if this is your first time clicking onto my channel, hi, my name is Julia, nice to meet you. And if you are a current member of my YouTube family, a big hug, welcome back. Thank you so much for taking time out of your day to stop by again. All right, so today's video, I am super excited for. I seriously had so much fun, guys. I think this is actually my first first impression video that I've ever done with makeup. And it was so much fun to film, guys. Let me know down below if you guys want me to do more of these because I sure had a good time. And so, yeah, I'm just trying out some pretty hyped up products. Now, only one of these is a new release, I think. These all have been around for a while, but they were really hyped up. And I never got a chance to try them. Huda Beauty Desert Dust, Farsala Unicorn Tears. The new product I tried out is the Cover FX Power Play Foundation. I also never got a chance to try the Maybelline Master Chrome Highlighter. And I also have a couple other new products that I've never tried to throw in as well. Milani Powder Foundation, Becca Ultimate Coverage Concealer, Estee Lauder Lipstick, Lip Topper. So yeah, if you want to hang out with me and try on some makeup with me, go grab yourself a drink or a snack, relax, and let's have some fun playing with makeup. I can't wait to try all of these. You guys have no idea how hard it's been not to dig my dirty little grubby little paws in this stuff. Okay, so first let's go ahead and try out the Farsali Unicorn Essence. Oh, which I did a haul of a lot of these products. If you guys enjoy makeup hauls, I'll leave the link to that down below for you guys. But yeah, in that haul, I said how I know this is such an old product. I feel like I'm the last person in the whole wide world to try this. <laughs> Comment down below if you haven't tried this either. Make me feel a little better. I see everybody on Instagram doing it. Mmm. It smells like cotton candy, kind of. It smells actually very similar to the Glam Glow Glow Setter setting spray. It smells just like that. And it's actually kind of thin. Shake it up. I'm so excited. I'm so excited. Here we go. Ew. <laughs> It's not quite running how it usually does on everyone else's Instagram videos. Let's try this side. Oh, surprisingly, put a little on my neck because it's kind of a lot. It's actually a lot, a lot. But surprisingly, it is not as thick and oily as I expected it to be. And it's quite tacky too, which I actually like that. In a primer, I'm not a big fan of like the super silicone primers, so the fact that it's tacky, I kind of like, yet yeah, it's thin. I kind of like that. Okay, now let's bust into the Cover FX, <laughs> Cover FX, 
Cover FX Power Play Foundation. I got mine in the color G10. I probably will do a full like official foundation review on this. If you guys haven't seen any of those, I do like a foundation review series where I test it throughout the day. I'll link that playlist down below for you too. But I am pretty sure I'm gonna do that with this one as well. Like this video or let me know down below if that's something you want. And I think this shade is actually really light for me. Oh gosh, yeah, that's gonna be so white for me. Okay, I'm gonna mix a dab of this Acti Labs foundation in the color Cote de Labore. I don't know, it's super, super dark. Like, I use it as a cream contour. I'm just gonna like tap the tip. Okay, so I'm literally just leaving like that much, like a corner of it. Now let's go in. It actually like dried really fast. Like it, it's almost like completely dry. I don't know, I kept hearing that this is super high coverage. Let me go in with like some fresh. Okay, let's go in fresh on this. Oh, it's still so white. Hmm. I am really not getting that much coverage out of this stuff. And I feel like it's really exaggerating my pores. I don't know if that's the foundation that's doing that or it could be the unicorn tears. <laughs> I sounded like I was like about to cry through tears, but that's kind of why I want to try this foundation in a official foundation review where I'll wear it with no primer and just kind of on its own. So let's see if we can build this up. Alrighty, so that did build up a little bit. It's definitely matte. I don't know, I don't know how I feel about this foundation yet. And I don't really wanna like make up a complete consensus just because like I said, I did try out a new primer, so I don't know. I don't know what I feel about this. Comment down below, have you tried this? What do you guys think? I will say it's very light on the skin, so that's kind of nice and it feels nice, so say that all right let's try out a concealer so I've had this thing for such a long time like I swatched it but I've never tried it under my eyes it's the Becca ultimate coverage concealing cream in the color banana let's try this puppy out comes in a little pot like this it smells very like cranny waxy a little bit I'm just gonna go in with my finger and we'll just get that going I know this is more of like a coverage concealer rather than a highlighting concealer, but that's okay. Oh yeah, it's very like waxy smelling, which I feel like is so bad for my pores. It's not terrible. It does kind of brighten up the under eye, but I don't know. I'm not sure if I would pick it up over my Maybelline Instant Age Rewind Concealer. Let's go ahead and set it. I don't have, well, I do have a new setting powder. I have this All May setting powder, but I split up all my new products and I'm gonna do two first impression videos. So I'm gonna save that for the other one. I'm just gonna go in with my OG Too Faced Ethereal Setting Powder. I feel like it helps sometimes too to mix in some like original products when you're trying out new products. You know, now that that's set, I'm not too upset with the concealer foundation. I think it made for a really, really pretty base, the combo of those. Yeah, so far, all three of these, I'm like, okay, not too bad. I, I enjoy them so far. I'm gonna pick them up again. All right, now let's go ahead and bronze. I'm gonna use that Milani powder foundation that was in my haul. I picked this up at TJ Maxx. It's actually a foundation but they only had the color Creamy Cocoa, which will be perfect for a bronzer for me. Oh, I totally forgot that I used my e.l.f. blurring brush to apply my foundation. This is seriously like the best foundation brush ever. And so I'm just gonna pick up this e.l.f. fluffy brush and let's give this a try. I'm a little crazy under there. <laughs> oh gosh, I'm a little crazy there. Wow, you guys, I really, really like this. I'm so impressed. This is probably my favorite product so far, and I think it was, yeah, it was one of the cheapest. If you see the Milani powder foundation, 
either at TJ Maxx or anywhere. It should be cheap anyways. Get a couple decent shades darker and use it as a bronzer because this is so pretty. I really, really like it. I feel like my face looks very smooth and nice. Like I feel like this is a really nice canvas right now. So that's exciting. For blush, I'm gonna go ahead and pop on the Milani Baked Blush in Berry Amore. I have tried this before. This isn't a first impression, but I haven't used it in a long time and might as well stick with Milani. I'm just using a Luxie 522 tapered highlighter brush. Ooh, I kind of went a little heavy handed with that. Let's just douse that out a little bit. All right, let's do highlighter. Okay, I need to be a little bit more organized. Things I've used and things I haven't used over here. So I'm gonna try out the Maybelline Master Chrome Highlighter. This one is the newer Molten Rose Gold color. I mentioned this in my last video, but I haven't tried the actual gold one. I'm just, I'm not someone who gravitates toward gold highlighters for some reason, so when they came out with this color, I was super excited. I did swatch it on my last video, and it's very, like, it's very pigmented, but it's, like, kind of, chunky and i usually go in with my finger to highlight i feel like it gets the best payoff but because this is so pigmented let's try it with a morphe 510 brush i'm not sure if this is going to be too dark for me okay you know that's actually quite pretty i think i'm going to go in over top with my finger how i usually do so this is oh yep that's how i usually like to put on my highlighter Cause I like it, bam. Wow, I am pleasantly surprised again, I feel like. It's very like metallic-y, not so much glittery, which is totally fine with me, cause I like more metallic-y highlighters. And when I swatched this, it looked a little dark, and I, so I thought it was gonna be a little too dark for me, but it's not that bad. I'm just gonna dust a little bit my forehead. So on that nose, Cupid's bow, huh, another good one. All right, this is it time? I think it's time for my most exciting part. This is the one that's been so hard. Like oh, there was a couple times where I'm like, oh, I'm just, I'm just gonna use it and I'll do a, a first impressions with something else. But I was like, no, I wanna save this to do with you guys. Okay, actually hold that thought. I'm gonna go do my brows first and then we'll get into this. Cause I, I don't know, I'm not someone who tries brow products, new brow products very often. Cause the BH Cosmetics Studio brow pencils are just like the bomb to me. So yeah, I'm gonna pop on my eyebrows and we'll be right back. Okay, now let's get into it. Gosh, she is seriously so freaking pretty, you guys. Oh, I'm so excited. Okay, so let's go ahead and dip into Desert Sand first. I'm taking this Kala Crease 415 brush. It's just a really big, fluffy brush. And let's just, ooh. So there's a little bit of fallout. I don't know if you can tell, but honestly, guys, like, that doesn't bother me. Oh, there was kind of a lot of powder there, but I don't know. I don't really judge based off fallout. I just, I want to see how it performs, you know, so. Go ahead and put that all over our lid. Okay, now I'm laughing. So let's go into the color Musk. I love this because, okay. So you guys might hear sometimes in vlogs or anytime Jessie's on here, we call each other Musk or Muskrat and it's because if you've seen Meet the Fockers, you know how when Robert De Niro is kind of getting feisty, the wife tells him, Muskrat Jack! Well, I don't know why we thought that was, ugh, I feel like I got something in my eye. I don't know why, I feel like we thought that was just so funny, so we kept saying Muskrat for everything. And then we just started calling each other Muskrat, and then it turned into Musky, and then now it's Musk sometimes, so. Anyways, long story short, that's why I giggled when I saw the name. All right, so let's go into Musk. And we're just going to work up the crease. I feel like it's blending out really, really nice. I keep going in very light because I'm scared it's going to be too pigmented. So that's kind of why I keep dipping, but I don't know. I honestly don't like when the mattes are like overly pigmented because I feel like they're hard to work with. But this is really nice. I'm like having a good time with this. 
Okay, so that did take some time, I feel like, to build up the color, but I'm just, I'm okay with that because it just, it really did create a really nice, flawless look. So I like it. Oh, there's just so many pretty shades. Let's take this shade here, which is called Amber, and with my Morphe M330 brush, let's start going down the crease, or I should say down towards the lid. I feel like the initial application of this is just a little bit patchier, but just like with that previous shade, it just blends out really nice. All right, let's go. Let's go in with this color here, which is called Saffron. And I'm actually just gonna take that same brush. Okay, so yeah, after using a couple different shades, I can say it's not the most pigmented palette. Like it's not one of those palettes that you have to be very careful applying it because you're gonna get so much pigment. Pigment. They're a little more buildable, but like I said guys, like this is kind of more up my alley for formula just because, I don't know, I think it's easier to build. But guys, it is just blending out so beautifully. Holy cow. Oh, so pretty. I really, really like it. The colors, they just all go so nice together. Okay, lastly, let's dip into what is this called? Oud? O U D? Oud? Oud? I have no idea. This is a really pretty color. I'm gonna use my e.l.f. crease brush this time. Let's go a little more concentrated in RV. Okay, this is so weird. I don't know if I wiped it off by accident and not paid attention, but I feel like the highlighter completely wore off on this side. That is so weird. I must have wiped it off by accident. That was so weird. Oh, this look looks so good. Like I feel like I did not try very hard to get like such a pretty look so far. Okay, now time for glitter. I feel like I have to. Like this is the one that I couldn't help swatch, which is called Cosmo. I feel like I need to put that on my eyelid. All right, first I'm gonna. Oh gosh, it is like <gasps> it's really moving around, you guys. It's almost like I don't know if you can see but it's almost like a loose, like really loose. Ooh, I might need glitter glue for that. All right, well, let's try it without and then maybe we'll put some. So I'm just gonna put that on the lid. Oh gosh, yeah, there's fallout. <gasps> oh no, what did I do? Oh boy, it's getting like all over the place. Okay, this one you do need to treat more as a glitter rather than an eyeshadow, so. I'm just gonna leave it at that and let's go in with something else. Okay. I ruined this, I ruined this. Okay, I'll be right back. I'm gonna try to go get this off. All right, instead, ooh, this celestial color is really pretty. So it's kind of like a, oh, that is such a cool color. This color right here is like a duochrome. It's like yellowish pink. Like it's got a yellow undertone, but then pink. So I'm gonna try to go in with that with my finger. Ooh, this one is pretty. All right, that, that's more like it. This one is really, really pretty, you guys. Okay, for the sake of just trying it out, I'm gonna take an e.l.f. concealer brush, which is just a little flat brush, and let's try applying it with a brush just to see. I usually never apply foils with a brush. I always do my fingers. Yeah, we're not really getting anything with the brush, but a good, nice, vibrant foil is really, really hard to use with a brush and usually doesn't work anyway, so. That's just kind of the name of the game. Oh, you guys, I love it. This is so pretty. Alrighty, so I popped on some eyelashes and I feel like the highlighter is losing its pizzazz. Like this is the second time I've had to like reapply just sitting here, so. I don't know. I'm kind of not liking this so much now. Like literally since I've been sitting here, I haven't even been sitting here an hour since I put this on and it's already fading away. So I'm not really happy about that. I'll have to keep like using this and see if, I don't know. Just thought I would point that out to you guys. Okay, let's do bottom lash real quick. Let's go ahead and use Eden. And I'm picking up that Morphe M330 brush. My dogs are playing. They always decide to play like this as soon as I start filming. You guys probably hear them in every single video. Oh, 
All right, and last but not least, I'm going to try, I haven't used this one yet. My aunt always gets samples from Estee Lauder, so she gives them to me, and this is the Pure Color Envy Sculpting Lipstick in 440 Irresistible. I have not used this one yet. Ooh, it is pretty. I don't gravitate towards lipsticks. Like, I like to have them. Like, I like them. I think they're pretty. But I always have a hard time applying them. So let's see how this goes. But this is so pretty. Oh, already messed up. Seriously, guys, how did our moms and nanas do this when this was all there was, was the sticks? I feel like it's so hard. For lipstick, it's really creamy. It's actually pretty and it's really really comfortable. Maybe I'll have to practice more with lipsticks But lastly, I do want to try out. This is a new thing. I got too. It's the essence shine 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 wet look lip gloss I just want to put a little bit of this on the inner portion of my lips. What color is this? Bright on <laughs> is what it's called and the applicator is really nice. It's kind of like curved. Let's see Oh, That's kind of nice and it Oh, it smells, it smells like tropical fruity. It's really, it smells really good. Screw it, let's just put it all over. It looks like so wet now. <laughs> I think it's a little sparkly actually too. Let's see, I'll swatch it on my hand. Ooh, I think this would be really pretty by itself. That's what it looks like alone. It is a little glittery. But yeah, it looks really pretty over top. Alrighty guys, so this is the completed look. This was so much fun, you guys. I, I don't know, I just feel like we were just hanging out, trying out new makeup together. I really liked this. Hits and misses. Okay, my favorite out of all of this is the Milani Powder Foundation used as a bronzer. This was my favorite. I also have to say, guys, the Huda Beauty Desert Dusk Palette, I love it. I don't think it's the most pigmented palette, but like I said, for me, I really enjoyed it. I think this palette is also really good if you're a beginner and you're intimidated by super pigmented shadows. For being so colorful in the pan, there's a lot of colors and just the looks that you can come up with, I think are really, really pretty for every day, going out. So far, I really, really, really like this palette. I can't wait to use it more. Only thing is Cosmo, <laughs> I mean, it was kind of like the way I used it. I didn't use a glue and I put on my foundation first. But yeah, other than that, I did really like the Huda Beauty palette. The combo of these at first, like I was a little unsure about, but once I set it with my normal setting powder, these I'm not disappointed with. Like I'm gonna use these again and play with these. The Becca concealer, again, same thing. Like I'm like, meh kind of in the middle. The lipstick, it's really pretty, but I had such a hard time applying it, so I need more practice with this, but it's really pretty. Same thing with this. I think this is nice as a lip topper. I'll have to play around with it on its own. Only thing like I'm not crazy about, which I liked at first, is the Master Chrome highlighter. I think it goes on originally really pretty, like I really liked it at first, and then it just kind of fades and like, I don't know, it just, it just loses its pop really fast. So yeah, I might have to play around with that. But anyways, hopefully you guys enjoyed this video. Like I said, comment down below if you have any of these items, what, what's your review on them. And yeah, other than that, I'll catch you in my next video.